Bonity Company is dedicated to seeking out, procuring, and sharing information on the finest poor teas for our esteemed clientele. In this short movie clip, we show the first steps in making poor. Photos and video were taken on our 2010 trip to southern Yunnan, widely acknowledged as the birthplace of tea. In the mornings, tea workers go up into the mountains to the ancient tea tree groves, also known as tea gardens, to gather tea. After a day of harvesting, the freshly picked buds and leaves are brought back for weighing and preliminary processing. The preliminary processing begins with evenly spreading the fresh leaves over an open mesh screen. This allows the leaves to wilt and any excess moisture to evaporate. After a few hours on the mesh screen, the withered leaves are fed through a warmed rotating cylinder and tumbled for about two minutes. This process deactivates some of the enzymes in the leaves and is called killing the greens. The warm, pliant leaves are then loaded into a kneading machine. They fed down onto a spiral grooved plate while the holding can above gently rotates over the tea leaves for about three minutes, causing them to roll and curl. The kneaded leaves are moist and have a tendency to stick together. To keep the tea free from clumping into balls, it is put through a sifter and then spread out onto mats to dry indoors overnight. The next morning, the tea is taken outside to dry under the sun for a full day. Sun drying is one of the unique characteristics of poor tea. At the end of the second day, the leaves are gathered up into baskets and bags. The last step of preliminary purity processing is the hand grading of each leaf and bud. The grading scale runs from 1 to 10, with 1 being the premium young buds and 10 being the older leaves. A bud and two leaves are considered a desirable combination. Once the tea has been harvested, wilted, tumbled, kneaded, sifted, dried in the sun, and hand grated, the preliminary steps in making poor tea are finally complete. Yeah.